Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, of course, on the Nintendo Switch. And today we are back in Kakariko Village uh, because we are looking for another way into the depths. And I believe Josh has said the one from the north of Kakariko. So I think it's that one. So we're going to jump down here. We have already been down there. Uh, we didn't really do anything. I think we just registered the... Uh, the entrance here so we're gonna go jump down there and then head to the east and maybe a little bit north as well and try and fill up some of that area I get the feeling that's the direction we should have gone uh, last time so I think this is the right way we're gonna head over to the depth entrance and basically today we're just gonna do a little bit more exploring of the depths and I guess we're chasing after master Kuga the uh, Yiga clan member and we're on Galen's trail, Ganondorf's trail I believe so I think that's what we're gonna do. How do we get out here? Where's the... Let's see if we can ascend. <laughs> we got ourselves trapped already! Uh, we do have a habit of getting lost in the depths but we have now mastered the hover bike I guess it's called. Um, and we favorited it so we can pretty much craft it any time now, which is good. And we know it's going to be one that works. It's a little bit wonky, but it works. Um, you have to kind of get the fans just right. I don't think it's perfect, but we've been able to control it. We just kind of have to always lean to the left because it kind of pulls to the right for some reason. Anyway, here is the entrance. We registered it. But I don't know if we... Did we go down it? We didn't drop down it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and enter the depths again. Hopefully we find a bit more this time. We're looking for some statues. So maybe we'll, today we'll try not to get so distracted. And we'll actually try and hunt for some... Sta There's a statue. Is that a statue? Yes. And it looks like a Zora. Okay. There's a light route which we've already got that light route I believe there we go that's what we can see there okay so we need to follow these statues so they are kind of here we go there's one there so if we head over to the light route actually if I can get out of this uh, thing there well we got down to the depths really quickly um, but yes what we should have done last time is follow the statues and we got way too carried away with searching for light routes which is fine because it definitely benefited us finding shrines um what's that is that no that's just a tree <laughs> wait a minute what's that oh that's a yiga hideout maybe that's what we're searching for it's quite high up isn't it let's see if we can get there before we run out of stamina um, but yeah, at least we've found some statues straight away now, so we, sh we should be good. Oh, there's actually members flying around. Okay. I wonder if from here if we can take them out. That was, we took one out. Oh! Oh! That's the one we needed to take out. Whoa, things are falling into place quickly. Okay, here we have a chest. I see another light route in the distance lighting up the place. Oh, it's not a chest. I can never work this thing. There we go. Woohoo! You have to kind of slam down with your sword, I think, to get it to work. Be gone! <laughs> okay, maybe, can we take some of these on our shields? Just, oh, we've only got one spare one, okay. Oh, we found a schematic. We'll take that. I, yeah, sometimes you get normally... Well, I think we have had a schematic in each one. Oh, what is that? A super spring. 
Now that could come in handy. And then the other one usually has um, just like resources in it or something. A large crystal charge. We'll take that as well. We need to go and upgrade. We should have done that before jumping down. Um, oh, we might be able to build a bike over there. Is that all that's here? Only guarded by two members. There are walls that stretch from floor to vault ceiling in the depths. As a general rule, it's impossible to pass them. That's obviously the edges of the lakes that we discovered last time. We are slowly getting used to how the depths work, by the way. I feel like we don't have too much knowledge compared to the surface or even the sky. But in multiple instant, uh, incidents, <laughs> climbers have fallen while trying to... Oh, let's go. Veil the scale of the monstrous barriers. It's uh, better to hunt for a detour. When encountering a ward in the depths, you must first try to calmly determine whether it stretches up to the ceiling. Fortunately, objects that look like icicles made of rock often dangle near such walls. There may be secret paths through some walls, but those are likely very rare. A good map might pinpoint such paths. Glory to Master Koga. Okay. Is there a map in here then? Huh. Okay, so we might be able to steal one of these planes. Is there any spare batteries anywhere? What is this? Is this a light? I think we're going to put some batteries on here. Um... There we go. Is that too much? <laughs> um. Oh, I might have just wasted this. Can we actually fly off this thing? I hope I haven't wasted, just wasted these batteries. Let's build the super power... Super powered aeroplane glider. Okay, um, we might have to just move this out a little bit. I'll just put that there for a second while we attach the rest of these batteries. I, I imagine we've got quite a long way to go, so I'm just preparing for a big journey. Um, and we can easily get more batteries, it's not a big deal. So I don't mind too much if we've wasted them, but hopefully, uh, hopefully this plays out like I think it's going to. Um, okay. Slightly over-engineered, potentially. Um, oh, there's a light route over there. But we want to head, well, we want to follow the statues. Okay. The statues are facing this way. It's quite heavy with all these batteries on. <laughs> I can feel the weight of this thing, but it looks really cool. Okay, we're just going to follow the statues, which we should have done last time, but we didn't really come across any. Uh, I like the fact that we put a light on that works as well. Thanks for the suggestion in the comments. Putting lights on the front of uh, vehicles and stuff helps a little bit finding our way. You don't want to crash too close to things. Okay, we're just following... These statues. Hopefully we find the next one. Whoa. Whoa. It's pointing in this direction, I think. Can we... Oh, no. Our thing is running out. I didn't think this through. Oh, well. We put, probably put too many batteries on there. Okay, we lost sight of the 
statues. I forgot that the gliders could only go for some time. That's really annoying, isn't it? So there's a statue over there. Oh, here's a statue. So we were right. Can we take some of these things? Maybe we can make our bike out of this. Oh, we can't we can't steal the things. Okay, maybe we'll just go on foot for a second. It's a bit annoying that we've wasted the batteries, but we kind of knew that was a risk. Oh, these are so easy to beat, though. Okay, so all we're doing is we're following the statues. Trying not to get distracted by wanting to explore. Where's the statue go? Oh no, low battery! Um, what's that over there? Is that the Yiga highlight we were just at? That's not... A, where's the statue gone? Okay, here it is. We should probably stick to being pretty close to the statues as close as possible. Aha, I see the silhouette of one. <laughs> do you think we should climb up them? Or do you think we should we will be able to spot them easy by from the ground anyway, maybe? Okay, there's the next one. Um, I think it is going to lead to that hangout there, isn't it? Is that where we're supposed to be going, maybe? It's hard to tell. I don't fully know what the game's hoping that we're going to do. Right, still facing this way. Where's the next one? Oh, there it is. It just comes out of nowhere. Um, I guess we're on, we're on a bit of a path, so there it is. I can just, oops. No. There we go. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... What is that? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's just get up here and have a little look around. Okay, so there's definitely some... <laughs> I love the way everyone just, like, jumps in front of us while we're trying to see what we're doing. Um, so we can see some... Is that a laser? Or something? Looks like a laser. And then we've got... I don't think they're constructs or anything. Oh, they might be, actually. Okay, let's take this thing out. Oh! There we go. <laughs> take it out. Um, yeah, so we should be able to shut these things off, actually. Oh, it's walled. Grab that back. Aha. The defenses are falling. Oh, can we get in here? Oh, nice. Probably like, what is happening? That's a weird high pitched noise, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, this is like a maze or something. Oh, what is that? Um. How do we take that out? Um. Did it do it? <laughs> Oh, this is cool, little area. Wow. Oh, we could turn this fan off, maybe. There we go. We somehow took it out. I wasn't sure if we turned the fan off or if we hit the Yiga Clan member and just knocked him off. <laughs> okay, there should be some more. I guess that's why we're doing this, is to get all the schema stones. Oh, it's not a schema stone, but a schematic. What's that? A new design's being registered. An icebreaker. Nice. We'll take it. Oh, that's right, because they're farming the large crystals, aren't they? Right, we might be able to use those vehicles in a second. Let's just, uh... Oh! Ah! <laughs> Let's just make sure we're not missing any details here. We have discovered a new type of ore. While unknown to the surface, it is a regular sight in the depths. This ore can be identified by its distinctive green glow and weathered appearance. Its composition and intended use are unclear. But evidence that it was mined in every region indicates its importance. We've discovered numerous valleys down here that are particularly ore rich. Could they be a result of the mining process? Um, on a related note, it seems these valleys correlate with the position of mountains on the surface. But why? Glory to Master Kogar. Maybe they're to do with like lava or something. We control this. This is cool. <laughs> we might as well take down their last defense as well. Okay, let's build a bike and get out of here. There must be a light route near here. Is this what we were heading towards? Mini route, mind out! <laughs> Is our favorite there it is oh we've got it done twice <gasps> which one worked oh, it wasn't that one was it uh, no I think it was this one Oh, there's some uh, boxes and stuff here we might be able to steal. Yeah, I don't know if we're actually heading to places or if we're just supposed to be infiltrating all of the... Um, All of the Yiga hideouts. Right, let's see where we are. We haven't got a light route near us. There's probably one here. And here, at least. Oh, we are underneath the Zora's domain, so... Okay. 
Okay, is this where it was taking us? Oops. We should have put a light on that bike. If this will help. Okay, so maybe was it? Maybe it wasn't pointing to this. Whoa! Okay, there's a light route down here. Let's get down to the light route. And we'll see. There we go. It's so, I think the hardest bit about this is it's just because it's so dark. Um, it makes navigating really challenging. Whoa, that was quite a big area. Yeah, so we're surrounded because we're near the Zora's Domain. There's going to be lots of walls and things. I can see another light route just over there. What's this? Okay, where's our bike? We've dropped down from quite high up. Okay, is there any more statues? Here's a statue pointing that way. Okay, so they carry on down there. Right, okay. Let's go. So, yeah, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. If we're supposed to just be following it. But I guess so. Oh, it's hard to steer when it's weighted to one side. Okay, there must be lots of gloom down here. Oh, we found like a tent. There's definitely something there. Okay, where are the... Uh, where have the statues gone? I think we need to... Stop here. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that the ore that everyone's talking about? Uh, what? Don't surprise me like that. How was I supposed to know you weren't a Yiga clan member or something? Uh, practically scared the pants off me. So, are you also here to investigate the ore in these mineral deposits? Yeah, this stuff here. Oh, so that's just so nice. I mean, it's some pretty weird ore, right? I've never seen it on the surface. The ore deposits over there are chock full of it. Given the gouge out terrain and all the tools and structures we found, I think this place used to be a mine. I would say so. Is there nothing more here? I mean, it's the same with the two other huge valleys too. It's a shame we have no idea how to use this ore, but if you, uh, but you have no need to know, do you? Because right now, you're looking at the Yiga, who will take you down. Yeah, this, of course, there's not going to be a traveler down here. 
You were saying? Look at that for some reflexes. <laughs> Okay, this doesn't appear to be any uh, diaries or journals. Can we blow that whole thing up? That would really help us on our quest to getting Zonite. I'm going to put Minoru away, away until we need a helping hand. This is super helpful. I thought it was going to lead to a cave or something. Did we get it all? Yeah, I think we got it all. So these mines are pretty interesting. Um, doesn't appear to be anything else here, though. Large crystal, we'll take it, we'll take it. Okay, where do we go from here? We need an idea of where to go. Hopefully, we'll find another statue or something. Um, where was the last statue? So we came through here, didn't we? So I bet it navigates all the way around um, the Zora's domain, doesn't it? Could really do with finding. That's where we came through. There's a statue. Right. It's quite hard to see sometimes. I think if we try and stay a little bit close to the floor, when we need to drop down to recharge, we should be okay. Um, okay, it's going left, 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 left. Oh! Okay, we're near the walls. Uh. Oh. Oh, there's a light route. Let's get down to the light route. like a boat thing over there. Okay, this must be where the things were pointing to. Whatever structure is over here. Because we're right... Yeah, we're underneath Zora's Domain, pretty much. 
In fact, this is is this underneath the Yeah, this is underneath the shrine that's under Zora's domain. Weird. So we are actually under the lake then. So Zora's domain is an exception to the rule. Oh, now where do we go? Um, oh, is that a depth entrance? I can't quite see up there. It looks like a hole. Okay, where's our bike gone? Maybe we don't need a bike. Our little boat capsized. Okay, so we are still in the uh, Lanaru region, but I swear they said go east. I swear Josh said go east. Okay, at least we found another... Uh, this does not bode well. What's the matter? Oh, uh, we found you once again. I wish we could set a trap. What am I doing wrong? You just don't have the power. You do, don't have what it takes. Maybe my angle's off. No, that's still not working. Hey. Nice to see you again. Whoa, how long have you been there? Long enough to know you have no idea what you're doing. Although you probably have a little bit more of an idea than what we're doing. Uh, why uh, you little tried to catch me off guard, did you? No, we did contemplate setting a trap, but we thought that wouldn't be very fair. Like I said, my plan has changed, but we already mined up everything there is to mine around here. So what you saw was just, you know. I was killing time. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure that even makes sense. So yeah, you get it? Anyway, I can't believe you followed me to another mine, persistent little pest. In honor of our long-awaited reunion, I graciously allow you to fight me one-on-one -on -one before. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind because the end is nigh. Oh, why are you running away? <laughs> oh, I see. So it's a water one. This Whoa! Bright lights. I've got things to do. So let's make this real quick. Okay, so we are taking you on. Okay, let's get this. Done. Oh, we can't... What did I just get hit with? What's hit... Oh, I... Uh... Can we set them on fire, maybe? Oh, they keep coming back. I don't think I want to race on the water. I wish we had some more of those... Uh auto-seeking things. Okay, this isn't going to work. We need a plan. What are we going to do? Maybe we'll find something... I think we're going to have to go on the water.
We're gonna just electrify them. Everything we can think of, just throw it at them. Oh, he's startled. Oh yes, we have to lean back. That's why I sank last time. Okay. Turn around, Link. Quick. Get on. No! Okay, this is the slowest battle in history. Wait, they, is he regenerating health? Where's our biggest weapon? Oh, sneaky! You big bully. Um, quick, get on. I find it so hard to. There we go. Oh. It's so hard to navigate in the water. Right, we're going through our bows pretty quickly. Okay, next one should do it if we can get close enough. There we go, we did it. <laughs> the steering stick got wet, my hand slipped. No matter, once again, you're too late. I've already dug up the crystallized charges this place has to offer. And there's more. I just got word my underlings that they located uh, the man himself. They found the Demon King. Uh-oh. One more step. One tiny little step until the Yiga clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. I can't help but think the Demon King's going to, you know, not honor whatever deal he's made you. Uh, we have more than enough crystallized charges now. And there's only one more abandoned mine to ransack. Hear me now, Link. It's time to start the final excavation, the Northwestern Abandoned Mine of Ways. Northwestern, so that's in the mountains, isn't it? Above the Gerudo Desert. Uh, that's where I'll use the charges to activate our ultimate weapon. Offer it to the Demon King and bring the world to its end. Our next encounter will be our last. For you, yes. You're not wrong, actually. <laughs>
They do build some impressive devices, though. I'll give them that. You'll get yours. You just wait. Well, I, I can't believe we actually found the mine. I love the way they always leave you a little reward. Greetings. Hello. Thank you for eliminating the intruders. I was listening closely to goings on. The northwestern abandoned mine that man headed for is likely the abandoned Hebra mine. That's it, the Hebra region. Uh, but there are a few chasms in Hebra which to reach it. The path stretching from Hyrule Ridge was uh, that was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there being a chasm somewhere that connects directly to the abandoned mine. There is one other thing before you resume your journey. And my associate over there manages schema stones. You may want to ask for one. Okay. So we need to find a chasm that links directly to the mine this time in the Hebrew region. A huge crystallized charge. Whoa. Nice. There we go. Oh, sorry. There's a bit of a sniff there. Um, welcome to... Uh, welcome. This was once a busy refinery. A great deal of zonite was processed. Uh, my task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed there is a schema stone that you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. Does that mean we can get them from other places or we can only get them from here? Oh, bolt boat. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'll also prepare the parts required for a test auto build. Thank you. Is that so we can make our escape on a little boat? Probably. I uh, hope the scheme of stone you pride is useful to you. Whoa. Nice. Um, the only known way to enter the depths through the chasm after the upheaval of many chasms appeared across Hyrule when navigating the depths proves too tre treacherous. Try leaving and returning through a different chasm. To fully conquer the depths, we must find every entrance. Unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. It is rumoured, for instance, that a chasm has somehow opened inside a cave. Surely this is not the only concealed entrance. There may even be holes that do not seem to be chasms at first glance. Uh, but take heart, the gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon, and most can be seen from above. Glory to Mars Koga. So we're looking for one that's concealed that will drop us down to the mine, I'm assuming. Um, okay, we may as well head over to the little refinery and unlock that. I think we've done everything in this area that we need to. This is obviously where the statues are pointed to, isn't it? Hello. Uh, welcome, I am Forge Construct. There we go. So we're, we've come to learn that we just need to buy all the charges, basically. Or as many as we can afford, anyway. Oh, we can only afford one. Okay, so let's what we, let's have a look at our zonite stuff. So we've got nearly two hundred of those. Uh, where are the charges? Here we go. Oh, we've got five hundred charges. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, so I guess it's back to the surface we go. There. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, there's a chest over here. <laughs> They're guarding this, uh, guarding this chest. 
<laughs> large crystallized shards. Thank you. We'll take it. Uh, okay, I think that's probably everything that's here. Let's check out up the ladder. Yeah, I find it difficult to turn Link in the water. So it's weird that this is right underneath the Zora, uh, the Zora Domain as well. I guess it's because it's not technically a lake. It's kind of like a, a structure they've built rather than just like a natural lake that's formed. Um... Just want to make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Even if it is just a tiny little bit of zonite. Okay. Don't care too much about pose. Is this an entrance then? This is potentially an entrance to the depths. It can't be. Unless there's one inside the Zora's domain. Anyway, let's head back to the lookout landing. And then that way, in the next episode, we can speak to Joshua. And then probably head to the Hebra region. But we can also trade in, hopefully, some charges for some battery cells so we'll just check that out before finishing up today i think we've, th we've done pretty well we're getting used to how the depths work we're getting used to how to navigate them and what to avoid and things like that but there's still a lot of farming we could do down there um okay here we are right so we're at the lookout landing we're just going to head over here basically and use the little construct machine. Hopefully. I can climb over. Why can't I climb over? Is what we're looking for there are a few of these dotted around but this is kind of the one where we know it is uh get producing there we go so we've just done five uh, 500 does that give us five cells i hope so yes five energy wells There we go. Wow, we're actually doing something that Zelda players should be doing. I didn't think we'd ever get enough to get extra batteries, but that's going to help us loads navigating the depths. Uh, so there we go. I think from here we'll head... That's kind of the Kakariko, isn't it? With the donut in the mountains. Hebrew region, that's Death Mountains. That way, there it is. So in the next episode, we'll head towards the cold Hebrew regions. And we need to search for a chasm. Probably one we haven't found yet. That potentially is hidden in a cave. Or is somehow concealed. In fact, I don't think we've found any chasms in this region, have we? So there's a treasure here to be found. So I can't see any entrances but i'm sure we'll stumble across some but there we go that's what we'll do in the next episode uh, i hope you're enjoying exploring the depths with me it's really fun uh knowing that everyone is liking the way different people play zelda games i think it's really cool that we're all playing this game or have or will play it and we all do it differently um so yeah thank you for putting up with my weird ways and the weird way we play games but hopefully you're enjoying it thank you so much for watching and Thank you, of course, to the channel members as well for supporting this uh, series and every series we do. Um, hoping to do more with channel members in the coming weeks, so keep a lookout for that. But yeah, thank you very much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye!